Whoa. Um, hello, everyone. What are we going to be doing today? What are we going to be doing today? Well, um, surprisingly enough, well, not really surprisingly enough, but a good thing is um, in the world of DSP, the land of the dark side, not much has uh, happened. For some reason, OBS is wigging out on me. I hope I'm still recording. But um, not much has happened, which is great. Uh, he didn't really say anything ridiculous in his pre-streams. He said something stupid on Twitter, but he say a lot of stupid stuff on Twitter, but I'm going to show it anyway because it's, it's kind of hilarious in a way. But um, he updated his Patreon. I'm going to talk about that uh, in a bit. And that's pretty much it. So this might be, maybe, a less than 50 minute long video. Maybe. It depends. But this is the weekend preview. Or the week in preview. March 20th, 2016. Fallout 4 DLC Persona 3. No, uh, my bad. Fallout 4 DLC Persona 3. Zelda. Pog in. Gotta have the exclamation marks. Um, I actually caught this one fairly early. Like when it was like a 10 minute long, 10 minute old video. I uh, saw it. And uh, we had this nice comment. Love you, Tevin. I don't know how long that's going to be there. Uh, let's, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. He might have not deleted it. Never mind, he deleted it. Yeah, he deleted it. Well, at least I got to see it. R.I.P. But uh, let's see what our good friend Doc said. File has to talk about. Is the video playing? Yeah, the video playing. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nice silence. 13, 14, 15 seconds of silence, 16, 17, 18 seconds of silence. That's a new record. I still don't get how his dark side feel presents the weekend preview. Kinda don't make sense. Click. Hello, <laughs> everyone. Preview. It is. Oh, DSP. Look at my calendar. It is Sunday, March twentieth, twenty sixteen. See how loud it is. And we're just coming off of combat week, so if you've yeah, yeah, been I... in the know, if you've been away for the week, if you purposely avoided the week, this past week was all combat, one on one, mano a mano kind of fighting style combat. It started off with Street Fighter Five. It then turned into UFC two. And then the week finished off strong with Pokin Tournament, which I was very, very pleased with and really enjoyed. So, that was a lot of fighting. The thing is, I definitely realize that there's a large part of my viewing audience that isn't into fighting games, okay? Um, and that's okay. But it just so happened that all the releases this past week ended up being fighting games. And really the only other... Is it ever about having fun anymore? Like, ever? It's always about the viewing audience. Um, by the way, speaking of viewing audience, I quite enjoyed watching his uh, coverage because he calls it that. Watching his coverage of uh, UFC 2. I think the career mode for that game is fucking garbage. Like, it's, it's really, really bare bones to the point it shouldn't even be in a game. But they probably just put it in a game so people wouldn't complain. And uh, he even played as a female in the game eventually. So, I don't have any complaints about it. And uh, first time I watched Pokin, Pokin, whatever. I was like, wow, this looks kind of, uh. And then when I watched it, uh, well, I watched it a little bit more. It's, it's, it's okay. I wouldn't buy a Wii U for it. I mean, I don't have a Wii U yet. I probably wouldn't buy a Wii U for a lot for anything at this point. But it's, it's okay. If you already got a Wii U, it's a pretty good game, I think. The thing that I but I digress. Was some vlogging. And vlogging. I also went ahead and played one session of Zelda, completing a dungeon and getting to the next one in the game. So I'm actually, from what I'm being told near the end of Zelda Twilight Princess I believe there's only like two major dungeons left in the game but I can understand if there were a lot of people who maybe felt overloaded by fighting game videos this past week and that's okay you know, this happened back in February with Street Fighter 5 and it happened now but the bottom line is there are no other major fighting games to be released for the rest of the year unless something changes and we get like a release date for Tekken no. or something like that it's not so, going to happen. This is pretty much the extent of the massive amount of fighting game influx you're going to get. Okay? And this week in particular, coming up, things are getting back to normal. We've got a super duper major DLC for Fallout 4 that everyone's been waiting for. I love Fallout 4, as you know. It was my game of the Can't wait to talk about the Fallout 4 DLC. Wait to play this first of many DLCs. 
You've also got uh, uh, the Platian's Choice playthrough that's going to begin this week that I'm Great. going to talk about in a little bit here. Okay? So, we're going to have variety. We're going to have more Zelda. We're going to have Fallout 4 DLC. You're going to have the Patron's Choice winning game, plus some more uh, uh, Pokemon Tournament as well, big, mixed in there with maybe a review or two. There's a lot going on this week. Okay? Is it a week, maybe? I'll get to that in a moment. <laughs> All before we do, just to uh... recap, outside of the fighting game gameplay that I did this week, there was also some vlogging that I did. I actually... Uh, did a reactions video to the WWE Roadblock uh, event that was live streamed last weekend. I put that out last Sunday night, so a week ago tonight, basically. So I hope you'll check that out if you're a fan of pro wrestling. In addition, there was a big announcement this past week at the Game Developers Conference regarding the PlayStation VR. Pricing, all kinds of info about specs and stuff. And I did a video about that, detailing it, right here on the King of Hate Vlogs. So if you didn't see that video yet, and I... And ESP I throwing like up gang signs again as usual. ...editor in the VR market, and whether or not I'm interested in it, check out that video, okay? So that was the mm -hmm. vlogging I did this week. <laughs> Plus, there was a new DSP Tries It yesterday, Saturday. It was a big one. It had some editing to it, had some funny stuff in it. It was Batman versus Superman serial. Let me see. So you're going to want to check this out because it's freaking good. Fuck Everyone screen cap it, this. Everyone loved it, so I hope that you'll check it out if you haven't seen it. Again, right here on the King of Hate Vlogs, you can watch that. It is live. Mm, right? Probably not. Now, on KO Gaming, admittedly, it's been a little slow. And the reason being is because, again, I need to we go. finish up with stuff before I can actually take that footage and edit it into anything. Let me pause this. This is basically the highlight of the last DSP Tries It. I'm going to even give credit to the dude that posted the tweet. I'm not going to recapture this, but it was uh, some dude named Storm Force Gamer. But he posted, start your day off right, kids, and eat DSP's breakfast cereal, and you could be a superhero just like Phil. It's, an, it, it's a picture. It's a picture. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much the highlight. He dressed up like Batman to eat Batman and Superman cereal. And he hyped this up, and this is allegedly the best DSP trial that he ever did. So, uh, yep. KO Gaming. There was only one video released for KO Gaming <laughs> this past week. It was on Monday this past week. It was basically a one-month retrospective regarding Street Fighter V. My thoughts about the game after it being out for a full month, now that I got more into the competitive side of it, we now have seen after a month what the game exactly is like, who the top-tier characters and the low-tier characters are. Yeah, I'll share all that over on my YouTube channel, KO Gaming, which you can find at youtube.com forward slash KO Gaming 1. So if you haven't seen that video yet and you were a fan of my Street Fighter stuff but you didn't know that I had put out that video, go check... Anybody remember when Street Fighter IV was new? And a new version of Street Fighter came out, and, and DSP like played with all the characters, at least a little bit, and went online and went in the lobbies and played with all the characters, and at least a little bit. Remember that? Yeah, those days are dead, cause he didn't do that this time. Even as a matter of fact, I think DSP covered MKX more than he covered Street Fighter V, cause he played with more characters in that game. I don't think he uh, ever really played with uh, Fong. I don't think he ever really played with him at all. Um, I don't think he did, I don't think he really did anything with Nash. Wow. All right then. As well. But outside of that, there was nothing but I digress. Put up on KO Gaming this week because I was too busy inundated with all these new games, all right? But there's good news for this coming week. There's going to be two new videos on KO Gaming this coming week. I'll talk about that in just a moment, all right? So tonight is a pretty good night for me. I had a fun day today playing Pokemon Tournament all day long. Okay, and I actually played against a friend of mine, Venomous Fat Man, who <laughs> is in the gaming media, and he actually got an advanced copy Venomous of the game Fat Man. about a week and a half, I guess, before the game even came out, because he needed to do his advanced review. And I played him today, and my god, he knew tons of stuff about all the characters. He was whooping my ass, because I was all the stuff he was doing I'd never even seen before. And I'm like, holy crap, you know, this guy's on another level, because he's been playing the game an extra week and a half. So he me. cheated, basically. I saw a ton of stuff, I learned a ton of stuff. <laughs> And I also no, okay, let's be completely honest there. If DSP wasn't somehow friends or affiliated or at least knew, he, if he didn't know who this dude was, if he if he just played online against somebody, right, and he got bodied, and people in his stream chat fence and said, oh, that's John Schwartz and Heimer. He got the game a month early. That's why he's so good. You know he would shit on that person. You know he would. Oh, this fucking asshole, he got the game. 
two weeks early. That's why he's so good at it. He added advanced copy. I fucking hate people that get advanced copies, especially in a competitive game. But when, when he know the person, oh, it's great. They knew stuff and they bodied me. Okay, DSP. Story I played with a new character, Septile, today. But I, I'm digressing. Token tournament coverage will continue all this week. <laughs> All right, I'm digressing. The characters, the story will continue, etc. on DSP Gaming. You're going to see those videos over the course of the week. All right. In fact, as of right now, as I'm recording the week in preview, there's story, uh, story mode videos uploading to DSP Gaming for the game right now. Tonight I'm doing the week in preview, and I'm going to begin work on a montage for tomorrow, but I'm going to talk about that in a moment since it comes out tomorrow. Oh, my God. Okay. Just talk about it now. Um, and that's going to be it for tonight. Tomorrow, Monday, the 21st of March... Zelda returns on a live stream. It will be a full live stream of Twilight Princess HD. Uh, I'm in the middle of the Sky Dungeon. And for what I'm to understand, this is the final Mirror Shard. And there's either one or two dungeons left in the game. I'm not clear on that. But apparently I'm getting very close to the end of the game, being that I've gotten all the items. I just need the one more improved claw shot. Now, obviously this is, obviously this, this is uh, nitpicking. But how do you stream so much of the game, don't stream it for like a week, but still play it and still upload it? And then go back to streaming it. That's two different audiences, man. You got the audience that want to watch it live and the audience that want to watch it recorded. The audience that want to watch it live are going to show up just to not be bored. But they're not going to know what's going on because they probably didn't watch it recorded. Well, I'm pretty sure that I've pretty much completed the game at this point besides whatever the final dungeon is. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. looks like the home stretch for that game. And it probably will conclude, if not this week, let next week at the latest. But we'll see, okay? So one major stream <laughs> of Zelda tomorrow. That's going to be my live stream. No live stream uh, uh, later on in the day because I'm going to be working on and finishing, which is what I said I'm going to work on tonight, a montage of the biggest knockouts and finishes. Oh, yeah, the UFC, UFC video. Two. That's, you know, this last It only week, took him a week UFC to do it. A good four or five streams. Well, and I can't say a week. Really I guess I could say it three or four days. Ruling, like nasty looking KOs and stuff. So I'm going to be, do a montage of the best ones. It's not going to be long. I mean, at the most, if you're doing montages of knockouts and submissions, it'll probably be, what, five minutes long, ten, ten minutes tops? You know what I mean? Um, but I think it'll be fun. It's going to be a fun thing. Something. So this wait, is the kind of th it's going to take him an entire stream to make a five to ten minute long video. All he got to do is download all it. He don't even have to download them. All he got to do is get all his videos and skip to the end of it and find the knockout and see if it's entertaining or not. That should take maybe an hour. Thing that I want to do game specific montages for a game like UFC it makes sense to show you the best knockouts and that's a cool quick video that's entertaining versus hits of the week that I was doing which I talked about last week why I discontinued that for now it's just like trying to pick and choose stuff from every playthrough I do and it takes so long and sometimes it doesn't even coherently kind of go together sip in the middle of a sentence so that's why I don't really like doing those too much but i will do you don't like doing them now specific montages and there's a i thought he stopped doing them because of views in particular the fallout 4 dlc if there's great moments there, no possibly quantum break coming up right? no and dark souls 3 i think that's a shoe in that the best deaths are the most rage-filled moments of those playthroughs i could do montage videos of that kind of stuff so that stuff will be coming okay so, Monday, Twilight Princess on stream, mm -hmm. uh, and a UFC 2 Knockouts montage on KO Gaming. Tuesday, Play. Fallout 4 DLC Automatron releases. Now, from what I'm to understand, in this DLC, the way it works is you are still kind of open world roaming in, in, uh, you know, in the Boston area. But apparently there are now these rogue robots called automatrons that are all around. Automatrons? Them in like, these epic style battles. I guess they have a lot of health or whatever. Once you kill them, you, they drop parts, and you can use these parts to build your own automatron robot that becomes kind of a companion. And so it's kind of like almost having another follower in the game that comes along with you. Now, I'm not clear on if it's just overworld roaming and killing robots or if there's a story to it. It's not very... Jesus easy. fucking yeah. Christ. Okay. Uh, field trip time. Thank you to, uh, what's his name? Alexander 99 k for telling me about this because I didn't know what the fuck it is because I don't play Fallout 4. But um, about to do a little bit of reading. Let me see if I could, uh, if I could move this. There we go. This is the information on the DLC, the Automatron. Coming our way in March's Automatron. And this add-on, the Mechanis, or Mechanis? Mechanis. I'm going to say, I'm going to say Mechanis. It's unleashed from not-so-friendly robots in the Commonwealth, and it's your job to take them out. These robots can be harvested for parts 
and wow, I cannot read this this black text for some reason. These robots can be harvested for parts that you can then use to build your own custom automatron companions with. Players will have hundreds of mods, mixing mixing limbs, armor, and abilities. Paint jobs and voices can be customized as well. There will also be new weapons like lightning chain, like the lightning chain gun. This add-on will cost nine ninety nine, so ten dollars, and you basically fight robots, get parts, and make robots. Ten dollars gets you that. And before someone defends this, but um, this okay, this is this is what I'm what I'm. First of all, this is no story stuff at all. At least based on this description, this is no story stuff. This is just some fluff shit this could have been a, a mod but uh, I digress anyway um DSP is the same dude that didn't play the division and I'm not defending the division because I I'll never defend a game from fucking shitty as you so but this is the same dude that didn't play the division because he thought it wouldn't be entertaining for a playthrough he thought viewers wouldn't want to see it but he's gonna play a DLC that pretty much just has you kill robots and build robots. Apparently that's fun for a playthrough, but he don't even know what it is. Because he don't read anything. He don't look anything up. But this is his job. Um, so, I'm thinking, man, I'd love to do it. I'm definitely doing it. But I don't know how much time it's going to take. Because if it's just, oh, as you play the game, you ran randomly run into robots... We're going to do, what, a couple hours, and then it's probably the gimmick's going to die out, you know what I mean? You know so what I mean? we'll see. If there is a story to it, great, but if not, if it's just one <laughs> random robot to run <laughs> That into, DLC is going to be a waste of his time. So great, we'll do it for one shot, and that'll be it, all right? But it depends. If it is a good DLC and there's a lot to it, then I'm going to play it all day. I'll play it all day Tuesday. But wow, if all day. That, then I'll probably just do it for that one stream and do something else Tuesday night. Ideas that I have in my head. Probably more Pokemon Tournament. I'll probably continue on maybe with the story of Pokemon Tournament in an offline setting. I won't stream it, okay? Uh, That's lame. Wednesday, excuse me, Pokemon Tournament will return. Oh, my God. For sure, okay? And it's probably going to be online gameplay for the stream because now I started playing with Wait a second. Of course, this is nitpicking again. But I thought he said it was going to be back to normal. But this sounds like a lot of fucking Pokemon tur tournament like to me. To do some matches with Sceptile and then maybe mix it up and go to Gengar and back to Machamp. This is at least six hours things, of Pokemon like tournament. I, said, I with Venomous Fat Man today. I learned some things that I think I may be able to use in online gameplay. Um, in particular with Machamp, he showed me a few things. And he used, he used Sceptile against me too and showed me the stuff that's really good with him. So it could be interesting to try out mm -hmm. more online play. And that'll probably be the stream on Wednesday. Wednesday night... Either more Zelda or more Pokemon Tournament. If it is, it'll probably be the story mode of Pokemon Tournament because I'm trying to beat the story mode because it unlocks. That is a lot of Pokemon Tournament. Different things, does assists and two characters when you beat the game and stuff like that. So even though it's not. Well, at least he's not like betting the bond on this honest, Fallout DLC being good. good. At least it's unlocking stuff. Okay. Thursday. This is betting the form. This I think it's be betting the form. Major day of streaming before the patron stuff starts, which we'll talk about in a second. So Thursday, we'll see how I've done during the week, right? How long did it take for Fallout? How far along am I in Zelda? Uh, how, you know, how much did I do in Pokemon Tournament? And we'll play it by ear. It could be Zelda on the stream, maybe a major stream of Zelda. Maybe I'll be able to beat it. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. We'll play it by ear, and we'll see exactly how it goes on Thursday. But there will be at least one, if not two, sessions of gameplay on Thursday as well. Okay? Now. Friday. Here's where the big <laughs> stuff starts, and I think people are going to What is the excited. big stuff, DLC? What is the big Patrons stuff? Patrons' Choice Playthrough. This has been in development since, since January, because in January, I set a goal on my Patreon. We hit the goal, but then in the month of February, the Patrons nominated and then voted on a game. The game that... We know what happened. Poll, Persona 3. Yeah. Persona the big stuff is Persona 3? Starting this week. And the first stream of that is going to be on Friday. Okay. I just want to point out... um. I love how DSP knows a lot of people are not going to be interested in Persona 3. Maybe for the first stream, a lot of people are going to show up to complain about how he do stuff or whatever. But he know this game ain't going to get a ton of views on stream and probably in YouTube videos. Because Persona 3 ain't as popular as Persona 4. At least not with, uh, with, with the casual audience, if that make any kind of sense to say. Because they both... It's not really a casual audience. It's like... I gotta explain it. 
I guess a casual JRPG audience, you could say. Flat out, like, fucking simple. More people like Persona 4 than Persona 3. You know, he, he got pretty reasonable views, uh, at least for streams of Persona 4. And I don't think it's going to happen with Persona 3. But I might be wrong. I might be right. Who fucking knows? But I love how he's doing this on a Friday. He could easily just do this Wednesday or Thursday. But he's doing it on Friday. And that's because less people show up to his streams in general on Friday. So if like 200 people show up to watch him play Persona 3, he's not going to really care. But you could just say I'm making all of this up, so it don't matter. I, like, I don't have proof of him saying, let's people show up on Friday. I think he said it like one time, but I don't have okay. proof now, of that. here's the thing. Before we even talk about the rest of the schedule. But I, I'm digressing. I need your input. I, I see it in so much 90s videos. Of Persona 3 is. Okay? Because when I played Persona 4, people were like, you got to play the one, Golden, but it's only on the PSP, but you don't have a P way to... It's PS Vita DSP. PSP up, now you have to PS Vita. Get extra hardware like a PlayStation TV or whatever. I also, the only words, the only version he can play is Persona 3 FP FES. Unless he wants to get an actual PS2 and just play the vanilla Persona 3, which will make no fucking sense. He can't play Persona 3 uh, Portable because he too dumb to play it on his PC on an emulator and stream it. So he's going to get Persona 3 FES. There's no other way around it. It's not like it's 20 versions of the game that he could possibly play. Um, I think Persona 3 FES, not FES, the Persona 3 uh, Portable would be easier. Because like, you don't have to walk around freely. You can just kind of click on where you want to go. But the PS2 version looks better. At least to me. Overall, the game looks better. And the PS2 version is harder because in the PS2 version, you can't control the other characters. In the PSP version, you can. And he's going to get fucked up because of that. That's going to suck. I can't control my fucking characters. He did the wrong move. Fuck this game. The AI is so fucking stupid, man. So, yeah, that's going to happen. I didn't want to deal with all that. I said, I'm just going to get... The plain vanilla version that you could download, the emulated PS2 version on PS3, and I loved it. I need to play Persona so 4. Me. Like, I will eventually. You didn't get the right version. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> the right version. Okay. Um, no, Persona 4 I is good, no matter what version you get. Persona 3, and I'm like, oh. The bottom line is, the only version of Persona 3 that I can play at this time is the one that I can play on PlayStation 3. But I don't know what version that is. So please, watching this video. Look on PSN. Persona 3. Message me. Email me at darksidephilahotmail.com. Tweet me at they call me DSP. Whatever. Let me know what is the definitive version of this game that I should be playing. This video is too long now already. I'm pausing 3. too much. Okay. And that's the one that I'm going to play. It's going to start this Thursday. Oh, excuse me. This Friday. My gameplay stream on Friday this will be dude. the debut of Persona 3. About three and a half hours of gameplay as usual. So let me get this straight. He can only play Persona on the PS3, right? He said that, but he doesn't know what version of the game is on PS3, so he needs people to tell him. Okay, Friday night, I'm going to review Pokin Tournament. At that point, I will have at least played with three characters, if not more. I'll hopefully have mostly completed, if not... Comp I play with three characters, and that's good enough to review a fighting game. Wow. <laughs> Story mode. I've and I'm That's IGN levels of review on right now. You know, with Venomous Fat Man, so I've pretty much seen Oh, man. This dude. I can fully review the game as of this Friday. So this fully review the game. You only played as three characters. <sighs> Friday, my Pokemon Tournament review will be completed and going live on KO Gaming. So that's what I said uh, earlier. There's two videos for KO Gaming. That's like... To to put it in, in, in his in his terms, that's like if I watch a This Is How You Don't Play and I just say, oh, a dog side feel is awful at every game he ever plays and he rage quits all the time. But I only watch like one video and it was obviously a, a negative video against him. Doesn't he hate stuff like that? But he play a game with three characters and reviews it. Now he's going to get a game of positive review because he obviously still he's still salty about how Street Fighter 5 launched and he's going to compare this game to Street Fighter 5 undoubtedly. And he's going to oh, say, Nintendo did a great job on this game compared to what Capcom did with Street Fighter 5 and blah 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 blah. 
the game is probably going to get an eight, eight and a half, eight point five maybe. It's not going to get lower than eight, lower than an eight, unless he like stub his toe on the morning or some shit. But play a three characters if you want a fighting game. Unbelievable. montage for UFC two and the Pokin Tournament review, both going live on KO Gaming this week. Seven, you shouldn't have to play a whole game Saturday, just to be able to review it. The stream will be Persona okay, 3 bro. again. So another three and a half or so hours of Persona 3. As you know, uh, Saturday's my, my uh, <laughs> short day because I don't have time to do anything for a second. Session. Saturday is a short but day. But incidentally, this weekend, we're going to see Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice on Saturday. Hooray, movies. So, the thing is, we're not going to get home till late. Like, when we go out, we don't get home till like, 9, 10 p.m. our time, and then we have stuff to do around the house or whatever. It's too late to do a video then. But I will be doing <sighs> my, reactions, my, my reactions video to Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice on Sunday after I see the movie on Saturday, okay? So, I know it's a big thing. A lot of people are hyped for the movie. That's <sighs> my reactions video will be coming on Sunday. Fair enough? All right. And that's going to obviously be right here on the King of Hate Vlogs. That Sunday, speaking of, I'm probably after two days of Persona 3, probably going to be a little burnt out on it, and I might want to do something else. Or maybe not. Maybe I'll feel like playing more. But the, I like the flexibility. I'll have the flexibility to say, oh, I want to do more Persona 3. Or, oh, I want to tr maybe do more Zelda and finish it if I haven't yet. Oh, I feel like more Pokemon Tournament. See what I mean? I like this flexibility of it. And uh, that's how I want to kind of handle it. That Sunday will be up in the air, depending on, you know, what goes on. And I'll have my Batman vs. Superman reactions video. And then the week after that, the final week... Oh my god, we're oh, talking about Walking weeks later from okay. the shit. We're going to have more special stuff going on. There's going to be uh, the Walking Dead Michonne episode 2. Ew. released that week. In addition, we're going to have a marathon. And it looks like right now... What about, what about the end of Minecraft? Really when is that coming? Expecting. Uh, we're going to have a marathon event as a result of uh, a patron goal that we hit in the month of February for fundraising. And that fundraising? Event, That's the word he uses marathon. now? It looks like Conker's Bad Fur Day HD will win the poll, which means I'll be co continuing and completing mm -hmm. that game, which I started in December. Okay? So that's great. I'm excited. I liked Conker, and I'm excited to play more of it. Um, I'm surprised that the game is so freaking long, but I'm going to try my best to beat it. In a marathon setting at the end of the month, okay? Started in and December, playing it now only because he got paid, likes know. the game. When I say that, it all depends on what's going on with these ongoing playthroughs and such. Because I know people want to see me play more Persona 3 and do a lot of it before we get caught up in these major playthroughs coming out in April. We've got, just on my calendar, I see one, two, three, oh my God. four, April is in April. at least four to five major releases. Mm -hmm. in April, one of which, Dark Souls 3, is going to be very long form. You know how long it's going to take me to get through that game, right? Mm -hmm. It's going to be 20, 30 hours long. So it's probably going to take me all week to be, if not longer than that. So I definitely see myself being totally busy in the month of April and probably not able to play Persona 3. So I do want to be You already to told us you can't play it in April. Voted for and people love my Persona 4 also, uh, him playing it a lot is bullshit. He already confirmed he's going to play the game. Like he guaranteed to play it eight hours or some silly shit like that, which is gonna give him no progress in the game. So I hope people are excited for him to waste uh, for him to waste his time and their time to play a game for eight hours, and he might not even even go back to it. And if he likes it, he's gonna go back to it in May. Yep. Last year, some people have it still to this day. They're saying, "Phil, it's one of the best playthroughs you've ever done. We can't wait for you to do another Persona game." So I'm kind of getting more hyped than excited. Persona 4 I don't even have. So, no, so we'll see, it's not that simple. I'm thinking in my head, what can I do for April Fools? You know, it's not like it it's not even the same not. same kind of charm like, or anything. I have stuff to draw upon. You know, I had my old classic games collection over here, and I could do a joke, and I could do all this. At this point now, I've been doing YouTube for freaking eight years, and it's like April Fools playthrough. He could play Sonic 06 on stream for like five hours. So all I could think of. Sonic 06 is what, a PS3 360 game? So he could easily stream that. He could he could easily acquire it. I think the game costs like $15. He could just get Sonic 06, play it on uh, April 1st, and then never play it again. And then say in the beginning of the, in, in the, beginning of the set of videos, I'm not going to be playing this past today. Play it offline. As a matter of fact, he can get Sonic 06, right? Play it offline at night. Don't tell anybody. And just upload all the videos April 1st. Amazing idea. He won't do that because that's like kind of creative, I guess. But uh, I don't know what else he could do. Like if he tell us, 
like him saying this is already spoiling what April Fools could be because we might expect something. So we can't put out like a video a video saying like, "Oh, I quit YouTube." Oh, April Fools! You can't do something simple like that because we're gonna expect it. You know, I don't know. I kind of did the funny stuff already over here that you wouldn't expect, <sighs> and I'm trying to think like, what could I realistically do for April Fool? I don't know. I'm still thinking. I may or may not do one. If you remember last year, I was playing Bloodborne, <laughs> and all I did was I put on a Sonic hat. I remember. So maybe I'll do something silly like that and integrate something silly into my game, but I don't know. That's we'll not figure it out. I'll, fun. I'll, I'll look at it, and we'll see if I do something or not for it this year. You know. I don't know how Sonic um, had equaled uh, April Fool's, by the so, way. Outside of all of that, the only final thing I have to talk to everyone about. Sonic Fox. I have now, Shout out to Sonic Patreon. Fox. Check out right Embarrassed here. every Fang player today, but I digress. Patreon. There you go. Right there. <laughs> I can't Finally, move on enough. I'm sorry. The position for the camera. Right there. Um, the goal for, for March has been set. The goal for March is a Blizzard marathon. Blizzard Entertainment, that is, not snow. I don't want to get snowed in here in Washington State. Although it probably wouldn't be possible. Uh, that's a really a stupid lottery. fucking goal. <sighs> but whatever. Um, yeah, it's Blizzard <laughs> Marathon. If we hit the funding goal for this month... Well, you're almost point, done. You know, it's the 20th, Jesus so there's, Christ. there's, what, 10, 11 days left to pledge to my Patreon. Uh, people who pledge $5 or more are going to be voting on if they want to see mm. me do a marathon of Hearthstone. Whoops, that was loud. Heroes of the Storm. Or World of Warcraft. World of Warcraft. And I'm intrigued to do... I, I played Hearthstone and I love it. I would love to do a marathon of it. Lots of arena uh, gameplay and stuff like that. That'd be... Okay, so he played Hearthstone, what, about, I don't know, maybe seven, eight hours on stream? And for YouTube videos, I know he did two Hearthstone streams. You know how ridiculous it would be? If he was to get paid to play it. And uh, somebody made a somebody made a good point. This was a few weeks back in a YouTube comment. It was something along the lines of um, the people that pay him through Patreon. They might, they probably not necessarily paying him to get the goals. They just giving them money because they want to support him, which is fair enough. But if you give him money to for him to do something, and you get to vote, don't vote for something stupid. Or don't vote for something. I think that's something stupid. It's a game he already played, and it's a game he already liked playing, and it's a game he probably still playing on his phone every night. So why would you give him money and then vote for him to play this game that he already probably want to play? I think people should be paying him to play shit he don't want to play. Like, bad games, like legitimately bad games, like stuff like Sonic 06. I can't believe Sonic 06 was never a patron's choice goal. I really can't. That just, just blows my mind how uh, that was never a thing. But whatever. Awesome. Never played Heroes of the Storm. I used to play Warcraft 3, and I did play that that uh, Dota mod for it once or twice. I thought it did was you okay, really? But I didn't really go too crazy like a lot of people did. So. So it could be interesting to see me play my first MOBA or World of Warcraft. This is a game I've never done an MMO at all, really, on YouTube at all. Okay. You should play Final Fantasy I used 14. To play World of Warcraft. I know what the game is. I played it you know what I just thought one. about? Final Fantasy XIV should have been a choice, but the thing is, in order to play Final Fantasy XIV, you have to buy the game. <laughs> so that's like, that game, Final Fantasy XIV, probably cost a lot of money. Let me check. Ooh. Final Fantasy XIV on Steam is $20. Like he, he wouldn't trust that version. He would want the PS4 version. On PS4 from Amazon, it's it's twenty one dollars. So yeah, he could do that, and they come with a thirty day trial. So that would be a good choice. Yeah, that would be a real good choice. I don't know why. It's, no, it's, it's it's Blizzard. My bad. It's Blizzard. So that's why it's not okay. Then I played it like a what couple up? years later, and then I played it even further. But the last time I played it was like a decade ago. So I'm sure in the past. 10 Still think years, it would have been a good changed, choice. But at the same time, at the core, it's probably the same game. So I'd be excited to do it, maybe a marathon. Imagine that six, seven hours of me creating a new character, going in, doing all the intro stuff, quests and stuff, and I'm sure people would fucking join to try to troll me and shit live on stream, right? He's selling being possibly trolled, by the way. But um, I'm going to talk about this later. So that could be a fun stream, Boy. interesting stream. So, yeah, whatever wins the poll, it's in the hands of the patrons who pledge $5 or more this month. Okay. okay, so that's a cool goal. That's something, again, totally different. Is it really cool? I'm, I'm actually patting myself on the back a little bit because uh, it's something different. Again, I just keep coming up with these new goals that are completely different things. I do want to say special thanks. 
to a fan who tweeted me the idea. He says, what about like a marathon of Blizzard games? And that's how I came up with the idea. Oh, here's three things that would be interesting. So thank you to that fan. Are you serious? He just literally said, I'm patting myself on the back because I'm coming up with good ideas. And then he mentioned that someone tweeted him the exact same idea. So he stole the idea, didn't credit him, and then pretended to say, pretended that he came up with it, and then immediately said that he didn't come up with it. What? Um, but I gotta hear that again. So, yeah, whatever wins the polls in the hands of the patrons who pledge five dollars or more this month. Okay, so that's a cool goal. That's something again, totally different outside of my comfort zone. I'm, I'm actually patting myself on the back a little bit because. Uh, it's something different. Again, I just keep coming up with these new goals that are completely different things. I do want to say special thanks to a fan who tweeted me the idea. He says, what about like a marathon of Blizzard games? And that's how I came up with the idea. Oh, here's three things that would be interesting. DSP, if someone tells you something and you take what they said and use it, that doesn't mean you came up with the idea. Special thanks, special thanks to this fan that said, how about a marathon of Blizzard games? And that's how I came up with the idea. You didn't come up with the idea then. You just took what they told you. Hashtag, if you watch the video, 36 minutes in. Make sure to put hashtag stolen ideas. Hashtag stolen ideas in the comment to let me know. So what the fuck? Um, thank you to that but, fan. Hey, this is awesome. I've done Patreon for a year now. Every single month we've hit the goal. Every single this month we've had an amazing kind of reward event. And I'm very happy to be doing Persona 3 this week. To be doing the marathon next week. Hopefully we can do this marathon again. I just want to let you know, we have not yet hit the goal for Patreon for this month. But we've got a lot of time. But at the same time, 11 days isn't that much. Especially with the stuff we're going to get caught up with. And in addition to that... That makes no sense, DSP. ...pledges from last month, like they always do, because they had big pledges last month, they'll probably lower them. So we need people to step up and pledge. <laughs> you need people to step up and pledge. Right. Step up and so give me money, really, assholes. Else really to talk about. It's a crazy week, a wide variety of gameplay coming. Sorry to those of you who were kind of burned out from all the combat this past week. There will still be some poking, but for the most part, there's going to be a wide variety of stuff that hopefully you will enjoy. You're going to have... New videos on KO Gaming. You're going to have vlogging with the Batman vs. Superman reactions. You're going to have tons of new gameplay, game reviews, everything. This week's going to be crazy fun, and I can't wait to share it with you. Okay? Thank you, everyone, for watching the Week in Preview. One final note. Please, if you notice people who are asking around, gee, what's Phil playing or whatever, tell them to watch the Week in Preview. The reason I say it, this past week, okay, <laughs> no one watched the Week in Preview last week. If you look, like, not even 3,000 views, which is abysmal like i almost usually usually always get between three to five thousand views and then people ask me all week what i'm doing and i'm like oh, like i explain so he's telling us to tell all three friends that might not even three all one friend that might know who dsp is he's telling us to tell them to watch the weekend preview instead of giving them actual information to tell them to watch to to watch a 23 minute long video huh that's the equivalent of if somebody said, Hey, Tevin, what do you think about what Phil said in um, the weekend preview from March 12th when he talked about Persona 3? I said, Oh, just watch the video. Yeah, just watch this hour long video with a bunch of fucking rambling in it. That's why I make this video. I wish people would listen and watch instead of ask, 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 ask. Please let people know the weekend preview is the go to place to find out my plans for the week. And daily, you can check my Twitter, at they call me DSP, where I update it nightly with a new schedule. So, this dude is a maniac. Watch the video at the beginning of the week for updates. Check out Twitter daily, you know. Um, and I hope that people start to watch more because, if, I'm, I'll be honest, I was like, what the hell? You know, so many few people watching the week of preview. Uh, but then it was funny because then people watched the videos this week. <laughs> you know, it's like... People came out and watched the fighting game footage. Wow. You mean to tell me that people that subscribe to a gaming YouTuber watched him play a game as opposed to him talking? Holy shit. I would have never fucking thought something like that would happen. That sound, that, that's like really weird, man. Wow. Especially a fighting game. Wow, that is really fucking weird. I, I don't know. It's, like, it's not like they didn't want to watch just for whatever reason. I don't know. Watch the week in preview. Let people newbies 
newcomers. <laughs> yeah, newbies to his place. videos. Yeah, new fans. Thanks everyone sure. Thank you to the All those new DSP fans. Made the upcoming platforming marathon possible. Peace out, everyone. I'll see you for new gameplay. All we and I'm not gonna play this because I'm gonna get content ID. Uh, let's see here. So we done with this. And now we get to talk about Patreon stuff. And this video is going to be longer than 50 fucking minutes. God damn it. It's not much to talk about. Because DSP is really fucking lazy. So uh, his perks are still the same. A dollar gets you your name and text at the end of the weekend preview. Um, Five dollars lets you vote. And it gets you your name and text. Ten dollars lets you vote. Gets you your name and text. And you get a verbal shout out. Which is something you can get on Twitch for like $3 from people that's way more popular than DSP. But I digress. Uh, $20 get you priority access to get a question answered. Which means pretty much it's going to get answered. Unless you ask a silly question. Like uh, what do you think about gay people? Then he might not answer that. But he has broken his own rules to answer Patreon questions before. Because he used to say, oh if you ask me. Uh, uh, I, I can't think of the word. Like, uh, if you ask them, like, a hot topic question, something that might be too, uh, something that might piss people off, he would not answer it. He, he, he used to say he wouldn't answer them, and now he does, so he breaks his own rules sometimes. Uh, $50 gets you a personalized video, so he turns into a cam girl, and it gets you everything else. Um, and that's it, because he doesn't have shirts anymore, so you don't have a $30 go. And Project 7 is never going to come back, so he doesn't have a $75, not gold, uh, perk. He really, really needs to get another $30 perk, and he really, really needs to get a $75 perk. And he also should do a perk. It should be uh, everybody that pledged $10 or more get priority access to play against him in Street Fighter. Wouldn't that be cool? Then when lobbies come out, he could, uh, he could like force himself to play against people that gave him money on Patreon and hope he don't get trolled. And even if he do, it's not like he ain't got voice uh voice or um, voice chat, you know. Somebody trolling him in Street Fighter would either just be them bodying him or them teabagging the whole match. But um yeah. We have next goal. Oh my god, I don't even have this on the screen. I'm really fucking up today. I'm a professional, don't worry. Do not fucking worry. But we have next goal for March. I'll be mixing things up a bit. Blizzard Entertainment is one of the biggest slash most successful game development companies in the world. But if you haven't noticed, I've never ever touched their games lately. I've hardly ever touched their games lately. For the month of March, if we hit the fundraising goal, he uses the word fundraising now. He used to just say funding goal. Now it's fundraising. Are you selling candy to kids too? I'll be doing a mini marathon of the game that patrons who pledge $5 or more would choose. Choices are Hearthstone, which I've done two streams of, and Love. Tons of stream chat interactivity, which is bullshit. Stream interactivity is the equivalent of him saying, hey, this dude said this, and hey, this dude said that. It's not stream interactivity at all. Um, but does it really pull in the viewers? So he loves playing his game. He interacts with the stream when he plays the game, at least a little bit. But because it doesn't pull in the viewers, now he needs uh, 1200 and what? Fifty dollars to fucking play it. Great. Heroes of the Storm, which would be my first MOBA. So that's gonna be great. I love how he has no information besides that. World of Warcraft, which I played at launch and several times, but it was a decade ago. Looking forward to whatever the patient shoes exclamation mark. Note I love this. Note March seventh no ma March seventh. Note marathon run around seven hours on stream. But setup slash breaks will be included as well. This is there is no promise of a certain time amount on gameplay, only that the marathon would take place in late April. Remember when he used to promise eight hours of gameplay, seven hours of gameplay, this amount of hours of gameplay, and assholes like me gave him a hard time because he didn't provide that. Remember the Crash Bandicoot marathon when it was like oh, it's going to be eight hours of gameplay, and he literally played the game about six and a half hours, but the stream was longer. Then eight hours? Well, I think it might have been seven hours then. But the stream was longer? Yeah. This isn't even a promise anymore. The stream will run seven hours. So that mean, um, hmm. Pre pre stream, which is just going to be silence, that's 25 to 35 minutes. 
pre-stream, that's 20 minutes. Intro, that's at least 10 minutes. So that's an hour right there. So that's less than six hours of gameplay already. Plus, you got a break every hour, maybe every two hours. So it's going to be um, probably less than five hours a game. Not less than five hours. It's probably going to be less than five and a half hours of gameplay. Probably. So that's great. That was great. Whatever. <laughs> I have I have infinite infinite people I could compare this to on Twitch that stream longer than five and six hours every day. And don't get obviously don't get paid twelve hundred and fifty dollars for doing it. But it is what it is. Nothing I can do about it. I'm digressing. God fucking damn it, DSP. But that's his Patreon. It's really, really, really shit. And it's not even worth doing individual videos for anymore. That's how lame it is at this point. It pretty much doesn't even change. Do we have any new Patreon posts? I'll donate $50 a month as long as I can. Create great stuff, Phil. Okay, then fucking pay up. Uh, we got a Persona 3 picture and then we got this picture again. Ah, hooray. I will wait with great anticipation anticipation for Persona 3. It will happen eventually. And this is supposed to be February 27th. Wow, we're getting this much, I guess. Uh, is there anything else I want to talk about? It's a video I'm going to play at the end of this, but I'm not going to really talk over it. It's just something I want people to hear if they didn't hear it, because it's... I'm going to try to find the most Patreon plug-in parts. Patreon plug-in parts. The most Patreon plug-in parts every week. And put it at the end of these videos every week. Because I find them entertaining sometimes. Oh yeah, tweets. Because people like looking at tweets and, and YouTube videos. Let me see. Is this it? This is not it. This is it. Hashtag DSP is OJ. That's not the hashtag for the video, but you can use it if you want to. DSP is OJ, apparently. But he was in the middle of the night, I guess, because this was 21 hours ago. It's 11 o'clock my time. So, yeah, it was it was at night. Or in the evening time, at least. Watching the people. Surprised they didn't spell it P-E-E-P-U-L. Watching the people versus OJ Simpson. And damn, everyone in this case was dragged through the dirt like I've been. Crazy parallels here. Yeah. Have you been on trial for murder, DSP? Or have you been affiliated with someone on trial for murder? Uh, every aspect of everyone's life was exposed and exaggerated in a huge way because stupid people are bitches who love drama. What a mess. Or maybe they wanted someone to go to jail for killing somebody. Just maybe. Just maybe. You can't compare people giving you shit because of YouTube videos to a fucking murder trial. What is wrong with you, DSP? Uh, next thing you know, he's going to be comparing himself to, um, what that Zimmerman dude name was? Was it Martin Zimmerman? David Zimmerman? I don't know. Don't even don't don't even tell me who he is in the comments. He don't need to get any notifi any notoriety anymore to do this. No, not saying anything else besides that. Ah, <sighs> SMH familiar. But that's that's the end of this video. It is actually less than 15 minutes long. Technically, not technically. The part I'm talking is less than 15 minutes long though. But I'm out. Um, I'll see you in the next video, and I'm gonna play this hilarious part. What what pre-stream was this from? This is from pre-stream. Yeah, this is pre-stream March 29th. I just want you to hear this, and then this will be the end of the video. But I am out. Uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to like the video if you support the cause, and uh, yeah. Uh, if you can't, you know, pledge five bucks, that's perfectly fine. As, you know, a dollar, a dollar a month helps. And not only are you contributing to the monthly goal by pledging, you're also going to be uh, getting personal perks like text or verbal thank yous in my videos.
getting premium forum access uh, where you can actually vote on stuff like I just mentioned and also access to a few other things like uh, custom forum titles and stuff like that. Uh, in addition to that, you also could get your questions answered on my bi-monthly Q&A show, Ask the King, or even get your own private Q&A video made, which everyone who's gotten that perk so far has absolutely loved it. So definitely, consider pledging. More so than ever, this year, Patreon is very important to me as supplemental income because YouTube income is way down for various reasons. I'm not going to get into them because I've already talked about them till I'm blue in the face, but things are tough on YouTube right now. I really need your support. I'm hoping... You know, the further we get into the year, that maybe we'll get a lot more people who will be consider pledging the very small amount. Because the, the bottom line is this. The most successful people who use Patreon, they're successful because there's a lot of people who give a little. You know? Right now, I believe there's actually about 90-some people who pledge a dollar a month to my Patreon. I'm incredibly grateful for that. Because it's, you know, to them, that dollar a month, it's what? A pack of gum? <laughs> you know what I mean? But to me, it adds up, and it helps. It helps a lot. So please consider, even if you, you know, you think, oh, I can't pledge a, ton, a big amount, so it's not worth it. And it's not true at all. If I could get, you know, a third of the people who watch my stuff, if they all pledge a dollar, I'd be fine. I would never have to worry about YouTube views or ad revenue or anything ever again. And I'd be able to come out here every day and never have to mention this shit anymore. But that's the bottom line is we're not there yet. Okay? So please consider it. And then last but not least... My girlfriend, Leanna, actually owns her own business called The Black Current, where she sells handmade glycerin soaps and wax tart melts. Uh, it's very successful. In the past year, she's had over, I think at this point, over 170-some customers, and she shipped hundreds of items. She just celebrated her one-year anniversary and launched her spring line of product, and she actually told me this morning, she says, Phil, you've been plugging this one scent, Kentish Rain, and I could tell because the sales are up. But you didn't realize that there are other scents that were in the spring line that are really good. And I was like, yeah, you're absolutely right. I remember when we were picking the scents out together, because we did. We picked them out together. There's one called ginger ale, and it smells like refreshing ginger ale. Like, it actually smells like you're smelling like carbonated ginger ale, which is very refreshing to the sinuses. There's also one called Moroccan Mint. And this is one of my favorites. I've actually used this one as well in the past. She's maybe mint, mint soap, Moroccan Mint Soap. And I love it because it's refreshing, especially with with the uh, uh, with the, the the spring coming up. You want something that's gonna pick me up in the shower, right? Something refreshing and new, full of energy. Moroccan mint, great. It smells great. Good for your body because these are all glycerin-based soaps. They're not the detergent-based stuff that's in the store that can't even be called soap legally. You might not realize that, but a lot of the soap that soap I say that with parentheses or uh, quite or excuse me extra quotation marks around it because it's not really legally soap. It's low-grade stuff that they can't even call soap legally. It's not good for your body. The stuff she sells is great, glycerin-based, okay? Uh, in addition, she sells wax tart melts, which are these little wax cubes with scent in them that make your house smell great. It's a great alternative to burning candles because candles can be dangerous, especially if you have, you know, things that, that uh, you know, are flammable, drapes or whatever, or if you have pets. Like, my, my parents have a bunch of cats running around the house, and they can't have open flame because the cats will knock the shit over and burn the house down. So they use wax tarts. So anyway, check it out. Her business can be found at Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T. I personally recommend it because I use her soap. It's the only thing I wash with. All right, now I'm using Kentish Rain, which is the one that's been selling like hotcakes because I've been mentioning it, but... Definitely check out Ginger Ale or Moroccan Mint. Both of those are great scents, too. And, uh, you know, she now offers a domestic shipping via USPS First Class, which is a lot cheaper than the priority mail that she was previously using. So if you are domestic to the United States and you've been holding off on ordering because you're like, ah, the shipping's kind of pricey, now you can get it for cheaper. Okay? So I plugged all that, and you're like, why are you still plugging soap? It's very simple. Because... It's her business. She lives with me. She helps pay the bills, right? So the more money the business makes, that's great for us. That's more success, and that makes things easier for us financially. But also, the majority of people who order from her business end up being viewers or fans of ours, and they love it. They get nothing but positive feedback, and a lot of people have become repeat customers. I mean, they thought they would never order soap. They order soap, like, this is fucking great, and then they order more. All right, so check it out. Etsy.com forward slash shop forward slash the black current. Spelled C-U-R-R-A-N-T.